A second protest was held today in Forsyth Park by the pushback of the Pipeline Coalition. Many folks are concerned about their welfare and want to know more about the petroleum pipeline that has their potential that has potential to be in their backyard. Marla Rooker was there to get a further understanding of this growing effort. They came into town and held a couple of pub public uh, meetings saying it meant jobs and it would increase competition at the pump. Well, I've learned that it's going to cost us jobs and it doesn't necessarily mean added competition at the pump. Coordinator Casey Allen says this organized protest signifies the need to answer questions. Word has now traveled to thousands of residents in our area that Kinder Morgan plans to build a pipeline to export petroleum from Belton, South Carolina to Jacksonville, Florida. And we can't figure out why exporting oil is in the national interest or in the interest of coastal Georgia. Kyler says the pipeline will travel across five watersheds. I asked him why protest. He feels more awareness of Kinder Morgan's plan will reap the support needed to keep the pipeline from becoming a reality. To get more people informed about it, more people outraged about the threats of it and willing to speak out against it. The final stop for these protesters is the Savannah Earth Day Festival. That's where they plan to spread the word about this problem. The first GDOT meeting to discuss if Kinder Morgan will be permitted to start the beginning stages of the building of this pipeline will be next week. Organizers with the protest want as many people to attend this as possible. We're hoping for, you know, just as many people as we can get. Uh, the Civic Center holds about 400 and we'd be happy to see lines going out that door. Reporting in Forsyth Park, Marla Rooker, WTOC News.